And now it's time for Church for Dummies. I should be saying that that they can also keep in touch with you at B Joe Chan. In case you know they haven't already sent us a message, because I'm sure there's people out there who heard us ask ask for a, you know a message and they still haven't done it. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I I really appreciate if anyone can send me a line. You know, just say hello. That is fine too. Hello. Just hello. A hello. At, yeah. at you can actually be at B Joe Chan at the competitor GM at Emmy Callan. Hello. So one tweet, one for tweet three for three people would be yeah. great, and it would make our day. That anyway, so church for dumbing, uh, dumb, dummies, dumbing, dumbing. Um, you want to talk about the mass? Yes, we would like to talk. I, I would like to talk about the mass because okay. most of the time when we introduce some new friend, yeah, come to church, you know the most. You know, um, people always asking you to come to mass. Right. You know, try it, feel it, open your heart. You know. Okay. It's f- often is the first step when you enter a Catholic church. Right. Come to mass. mass. Come see. Come see. But the thing is this. You know, we usually have wrong explanation mm. for mass, so we do not, we, we we cannot give a like a standard answer. Yeah. You know, if you ask different people, they will give they will tell you what mass is, and you know when we talk about the order of mass, it will be even more like diverse. Different people giving you different explanation. Right. Right? Why do we need to kneel down? Why do we need to yeah. do that, do those? So that we can get some exercise. <laughs> we that we do not we need stand. to go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't you can you don't need to go to the gym, you know, you can pray and exercise at the same time. Come to the Catholic Church. Yeah, and you know when I when I teach people, you know, like catechism, uh, uh, people will always say that why we need to go to mass is so boring. Yeah. So boring. I don't know how many you for you know people telling you that come to my parish my parish is not boring <laughs> <laughs> holy martyrs of japan in bradford ontario um no but i i do get that of course yeah people don't get it and the other thing that i get is that people feel because we, we think that we go to mass like you go see a movie but yeah you sit and and you watch something but that's not how we need to participate in mass that we actually need to participate that the, that the priest is not celebrating mass by himself of course we, we didn't Buy the ticket, right? So we, no, we, exactly. we are not audience only. No, and and you're doing this like you're you're an audience for a show that you that you're <laughs> that you're that that is free, and and there's not even any popcorn and the music is bad and it's just boring. <laughs> so, but that's not the mass. The mass is the mass. In fact, my pastor always tells people that we need to help him celebrate mass. That he celebrates mass. Sorry, we all celebrate mass. He presides, but we all celebrate mass. So I think that that's the first thing I would tell people. Um, so we are participants. We are all participants. We are active of participants. Mass. And in fact, that was a big change in the Second Vatican Council that uh-huh. said that 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 we need to have full and active participation in the mass. Um, so that means, in fact, I remember talking to uh, somebody, a liturgical composer once, who said that we think that that means that you should sing loud. Uh, <laughs> um, and, but th- no, it just means that we need to sing. We need to pay attention to the readings. If you need a missal so you can read along, read along, say the responses. Don't just sit there and be bored. So we are we are mandatory. Is it mandatory to have parishioners in the Mass? Uh, it's not mandatory to have parishioners in the mass, but it's mandatory for the parishioners to, to go, go to mass, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So the priest, uh, a priest has to celebrate mass every day. Mm. Um, so every priest, every to priest has to celebrate mass every day. Now, a lot of priests might do that in private. So a priest can do mass in private. Oh. Um, so if, 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 if there are, you know, f- uh, I don't know if you're traveling or something, you might do mass privately. Um, most priests are in a parish and so they will celebrate mass in a parish or preside at mass in a parish. Um, but every Catholic has to go to Sunday mass because that is the obligation and solemnities. Now in the United States, different countries have different solemnities. In Canada, we only have two: Christmas and New Year's Day. Is it by country or by diocese? It's by country. The solemnities. It's by 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 countries. By Episcopal country. conferences will determine what are the solemnities. Um, 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 but the obligation is every Sunday. And the reason I give, and this is not a great reason, I admit <laughs> that. But the reason I give is like you know what, Jesus asked us to go, and Jesus shows up. So the least I can do is also go and show up. 
Um, but that, that's a difficult one to explain to people who are not Catholic or who are outside of the yeah. church or who, yeah. or who don't really quite believe that Jesus is present. You know what? You know, you know for the next few segments of uh, Church for Dummies, I would like to go over a lot of things about Mass with you. Yes. And, for example, the rules, you know, how, how do we prepare for the Mass? Right. You know, is there anything we cannot do before? Or yeah, after, absolutely. Or we need to do something yeah. after before. Things like that. Very simple, but we may forget. Yeah, so we're going to do a whole little series, Church for Dummies series on the Mass. And this is a great opportunity to get people to write to us <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> at Deacon Pedro GM and at Bijo Chan because you have ideas of how you prepare for Mass, how the Mass has been explained to you, what, what was that, what made a difference, why do you go to Mass. Write to us and let us know and we can share those messages also and then you can help me because I don't have all the answers um, and, and, and as we all grow and learn yeah. about our faith and about our church. Great. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank Billy, you. Billy Chan, he's a former radio host and he's our, also our web guru here at Salt and Light Media. You can follow him at B. Joe Chan.